chapter on joining two prayers when not traveling. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed Dhuhr and Asr together and Maghrib and Isha together when there was no fear and he was not traveling. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed Dhuhr and Asr together in Al Medina when there was no fear and he was not traveling. Abu Zubair said, I asked Sa'id, why did he do that? He said, I asked Ibn Abbas the same question as you have asked me. And he said, he did not want his ummah to be subjected to hardship. Ibn Abbas narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, joined prayers when he was on a journey during the campaign of Tabuk. He joined Zuhur with Asur and Maghrib with Isha. Sa'id said, I said to Ibn Abbas, what made him do that? He said, he did not want his ummah to be subjected to hardship. It was narrated that Mu'adh said, We set out with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, on the campaign to Tabuk. And he used to pray Dhuhr and Asr together, and Maghrib and Isha together. Mu'adh bin Jabal said, During the campaign to Tabuk, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, joined Dhuhr with Asr and Maghrib with Isha. I said, What made him do that? He said, he did not want his ummah to be subjected to hardship. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, joined Dhuhr with Asur and Maghrib with Isha in Al Medina when there was no fear and no rain. According to the hadith of Waqia, he said, I said to Ibn Abbas, Why did he do that? He said, So that his ummah would not be subjected to hardship. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, I prayed with the Prophet, peace be upon him, eight raka'ah together and seven raka'ah together. I said, O oh Abu Asha'adha, I think he delayed Dhuhr and hastened Asr, and he delayed Maghrib and hastened Isha. He said, I think so too. Footnote Abu Asha'adha is Jabir bin Zayd, who narrated it from Ibn Abbas, and the one asking him is Amr bin Dinar. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed seven raka'ah in al Medina and eight Dhuhr with Asur and Maghrib with Isha. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Shaqiq said, Ibn Abbas addressed us one day after Asur until the sun set and the stars appeared, and the people started saying, Prayer, prayer. Then a man from Banu Tamim came to him and he persisted in saying, Prayer, prayer. Ibn Abbas said, Are you teaching me the sunnah? May you be bereft of your mother. Then he said, I saw the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, joining Dhuhr with Asur and Maghrib with Isha. Ibn Shaqiq said, I had some doubt about that, so I went to Abu Huraira and asked him, and he confirmed what he had said. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Shaqiq al-Uqayli said, A man said to Ibn Abbas, The prayer but he remained silent. Then he said, The prayer, but he remained silent. Then he said, May you be bereft of your mother. Are you teaching me how to pray? We used to join two prayers at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him.